This is a recording of our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, day two, CUCM, CUC, IMP, and UCCX cluster installations, CUC publisher installation. This drawing describes how to install a Cisco CUC 9.1.2 publisher. This is the version that was packaged with our BE6000. Let's start with a quick overview and review. Here are the tasks for our Cisco collaboration, cluster installation and integration. On installation day, a literal day, we install our CUCM, CUC, IMP, and UCCX clusters. Deploy all of the VMs from OVAs and attach the installation media. Install our CUCM, CUC, IMP, and UCCX publishers. Install our CUCM, CUC, IMP, and UCCX subscribers. Activate the services we need in the CUCM cluster when we install the IMP and UCCX subscribers. Integrate IMP and UCCX with CUCM when we install the IMP and UCCX subscribers. Configure DRS for all four applications. Integrate CUCM and CUC with ELM. And do some final tasks like upgrade VMware tools and configure virtual machine startup and shutdown. We'll do these installs at the same time. We timed the process for a slower case, a single server no HA deployment, with all four publishers being installed on a BE6000 medium density server. Start the CUC pub installation at 920. Launching the installation should take about 20 minutes. You'll be able to log into the CUC pub in a little over an hour. The CUCM pub installation is underway. This is the Enterprise 20 deployment for CUCM, CUC, IMP, and UCCX. ELMA is co-resident with CUCM pub. We started the CUCM pub install and we'll move on to the CUC pub installation without waiting. The publisher must be installed first. If you have vCenter, then access the vSphere GUI and focus on your Cisco Collab cluster. Otherwise, access the vSphere GUIs for Enterprise 20 ESXi-A and Enterprise 20 ESXi-B. We'll leave the GUIs open during the whole of the cluster installations process. Select CUC Pub from the inventory and open a console using the icon in the toolbar. Start the VM using the green arrow icon in the toolbar. CUC Pub should start. Select Yes to perform a media check. When you click inside the console, your cursor will be stuck there. Press Ctrl-Alt to free your cursor from the console. The media check will run. After a short while, the integrity of the media should be verified. The media check on Enterprise 20 ESXi-A took less than 45 seconds. Select Cisco Unity Connection and press OK. Installing CUC also installs a co-resident ELM. This is a new install. Press Yes. Press Proceed to perform the full installation immediately without a floppy with the platform configuration. We're not applying a patch, so select No. Select Continue to proceed with the installation without a floppy. Select the best place to live for your time zone and press OK. Auto negotiation doesn't make a lot of sense for a VM. Select Continue. Leave the MTU size alone. Press No. Press No so that you can configure a static server IP address. Provide the static network configuration and press OK.
For Enterprise 20, RVM CUC Pub has IP address 172.20.204.71 with a mask of 255.255.255.0 and a default gateway of 172.20.204.5. Press yes to enable DNS. Enter the primary and secondary DNS servers and domain name. For Enterprise 20, we have only one DNS server at 172.20.100.101 with the domain enterprise20.ca. Provide the platform administrator ID and password and press OK. The platform administrator has access to the console and the OS administration and disaster recovery web pages. Provide the certificate information and press OK. Unless you have a security team to provide these values, just enter something reasonable. Press Yes to install a publisher. Provide the address of your NTP server and press OK. Provide an intracluster security password. You need this password for adding subscribers. We are not doing SMTP, so press No. Provide the application user username and password and press OK. The application user has access to the Cisco Unity Connection Administration, Cisco Unity Connection Serviceability, Cisco Unified Serviceability, and reporting web pages. The installation is good to go. The installation should take about 50 minutes. When it completes successfully, you can log in using the platform administrator username and password. It's important to log in to verify that you didn't make a typo entering the platform administrator username. You should be able to log into the CUC GUI in about an hour. We're not going to wait. We'll continue to the IMNP pub installation immediately. The CUCM and CUC Publisher installations are underway. It should have taken about 20 minutes to launch the installation. It's 9.40 now. We'll proceed without waiting to install the IM&P Publisher. Coming up next, CUCM, CUC, IM&P, and UCCX Cluster Installations, IM&P Publisher Installation. Thanks for watching.